shuffle to the facility I use to uh, put paint down, in this case primer, shuffled back and I've got it back here outside. So uh, due to the dust we generate the blocking process. So again, in attempting to illustrate what it actually takes to uh, take a car completely down and bring it back. Uh, at this point the car uh, has been, all the work's been done, it's been uh, color sanded once. Uh, and as I said, I did that with 150 grit paper, which is rather coarse, <clears throat> with the intention of doing it again. So uh, what happens now is the entire car gets uh, gets a, a, what an old friend of mine with a paint shop called a drop coat or a speckle coat uh, put on it. And then we're going to come through with our blocks <clears throat> and we are going to block the entire car, or this part of the car, from the doors back. Now, a couple of differences between this time and the last time I did this. Uh, the last time I cut the majority of the car with 150 grit sandpaper, which is rather coarse, uh, because I knew I was coming back to do it again. Uh, this time, I'll be going with uh, 320 grit sandpaper, which is much finer. The result of that is going to be is it's going to take longer to cut the car uh, because the sandpaper is uh, not as coarse. So. Uh, another difference is is that last time I did not uh, I did not sand the door jams, the inner doors, the bottom of the door, again the rest of the jam, the entire inside of the car holds that. I'm going to have to do that this time, uh, with uh, because I believe the car will go straight this time. And if it doesn't go straight, uh, I don't anticipate any more than uh, maybe a couple little Mickey Mouse spots I'm going to have to go back and address. A little concerned about the roof uh, because I didn't pay as much attention to that because originally we were going to go with a vinyl top and I didn't want to waste the time, aka money, to, uh, uh, to fix every little uh, pit and pinhole that was in it. But uh, it should be close. We'll see. There may be a spot or two left. If there is, we'll go back and fix that. So, uh, again, that's why reality TV on a car show would be boring because uh, it's going to take me all day probably to get all that done. And then we'll see where we're at at the conclusion of that process. So that's the next step in the process if you're following the steps along. Uh, that's what it looks like. Thank you. Okay, just a quick update. Uh, as you can see, this is I've cut the top of this door with the uh, 320 now. This little spot here, the little dark spot, uh, that is what. Uh, the blocking process is going to highlight. So uh, that you can't ignore that. You've got to go back and address that, and I will. I'm actually going to put a tiny little smear of uh, like a feather fill, which is a really it's almost like primer, uh, catalyzed primer that you mix up. So uh, so we're going to go. Those are the type of things we're looking to find uh, or make sure don't exist or get out of the car, or whatever you want to say. Uh, for this, in my case, the second round or second time going around as those little imperfections really start to stand out because the car is blocking straight. So uh, so that's it. Just a quick update. Um, one term I did here on one of the car shows was block party, which is what I'm doing. I'm blocking this, and I thought that was kind of clever. So what they do is they grab everybody in the shop that uh, knows how to block a car, and they have a block party. They bring them out, and uh, they... They block the car so so it goes a lot faster so uh, i think that's an excellent idea and uh, i had planned to do that i'm going to bring the entire staff at the hangar out here uh, which you can see them all uh, to help me move this process along thanks okay another quick update on uh, block sanding round two i started on this other door and you can see i've cut all the way to steel right here in this area did not go straight. So that caused me to stop immediately because if I'm already to steal here and I haven't even cut into any of this this uh, drop coat, this color coat on here, it is not gonna go straight. So uh, I'm gonna show you what I did. Uh, all right, so occasionally, All right, so occasionally uh, I'll actually use the uh, dolly as a block. And what I've done is I've come in behind this because I can't really get a hammer in here very well. I could 
do it another way, but this works fine. So, and I'm knocking this area out a little bit, and I've already, I started doing that before I stopped to film it. And then I've got a straight edge. So, I gotta get that, I've gotta get this area that was low pushed up so that there's no gap between the part of the door that is straight and that little edge that's gotten rolled over. So I'll continue to work that. Until it's perfect. Okay, that's getting pretty and it's getting pretty close but I can still see just a hair of light which is what I'm doing I'm trying to block any light coming up from below you can also take a flashlight and put it underneath your straight edge that'll really illustrate uh, if it's if it's still low of course if it rocks if your straight edge rocks that means you've got a high point in there someplace block over this just to see where we're at up oh, there you go all right so by the time that's cut which it is I think that is now that is now straight there you go Okay, just a quick uh, update on Project Camaro's second blocking here. Uh, this is uh, how the car is coming out after being blocked the second time. And as you can see, there's a pretty significant difference uh, between the way the panels look uh, the second time versus the first time. This is really what you want to see. They're very clean. There's uh, not much of anything poking through anywhere. Uh, when you're getting down to uh, things like that, you know you're getting close to where you want to be. And uh, any concerns I had about the roof are proven to be unwarranted. It's coming out fine. So this is what it should look like when you're getting it ready for paint.